Spondylolysis is defined as a complete fracture of the pars interarticularis, also known as a pars interarticularis defect. It is most common at the lower lumbar spine, and the common inciting factor is repetitive hyperextension of the lumbar spine, such as in gymnasts and weightlifters. Repetitive hyperextension can lead to the regular contact between the inferior articular process of a vertebra against the pars interarticularis of the adjacent caudal vertebra, resulting in a stress fracture. Just a quick reminder on the lumbar vertebral anatomy. The lumbar vertebra consists of the vertebral body, the transverse processes, the lamina and the spinous process, and the superior and inferior articular processes which articulate with adjacent vertebra to form the facet joints. The oblique lumbar x-ray view is useful for identifying pars interarticularis defects. To illustrate how this x-ray is taken, this blue cylinder is going to represent the x-ray cathode with the red line representing the direction of the x-ray beams. We can see that the x-ray is directed 45 degrees from the sagittal plane. This means that the resulting image will be viewed from this perspective. Here we can identify the structures of the well-known Scotty the dog, where the superior articular process forms the ears of the dog, the transverse process forming the head of the dog with the pedicle forming the eye, and the pars interarticularis forming the neck. The inferior articular process forms the front limbs, and the lamina forms the trunk of the dog. In this view, a disruption of the neck of the dog corresponds with a pars interarticularis defect, indicating spondylolysis. For those that are not convinced, we can return to the opposite end of this view, where we can also see the dog and its corresponding structures. An important complication of this breakage, especially if bilateral, is the anterior translation of the cranial vertebra, known as the anterospondylolisthesis. This can result in the narrowing of the spinal canal, known as spinal stenosis, 